the goal of this video is to show you where tennis elbow is in the body. I'll use Google's new tool, the Google Body Browser, to show you the anatomy. The elbow has two sides, the medial side on the inside part of the elbow and the lateral side, the outside of the elbow. This is where patients with tennis elbow hurt. Some elbow surgeons, myself included, even call this lateral tennis elbow. Patients with tennis elbow can have extreme pain right at the lateral epicondyle, just from the slightest movement. Using the sliders on the left side of the window, I'll take away the skin layer to show you the muscle and bone layer below. This is the lateral epicondyle. If I take away the muscle layer and just show you the bone, you can see the lateral epicondyle of the humerus here. If I bring back the muscle, I can show you the extensor carpi radialis brevis here in this group of muscles on the outside part of the elbow. Clicking on an individual muscle in Google's body browser will show you the name of that muscle. Here you can see the extensor carpi radialis brevis. Muscles move joints. They start as tendons, turn into muscles, and end as tendons. The extensor carpi radialis brevis starts at the lateral epicondyle, crosses the elbow joint, becomes a large muscle, and then turns into a tendon as it crosses the wrist. The fact that it crosses two joints, the elbow and wrist, helps explain why patients have pain with elbow and wrist motion. You can hardly move your hand and arm at all without moving one of these two joints. You'll read about many different treatments for tennis elbow, from therapy to injections to surgery. No matter what the treatment method, all of them focus on this one area, the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and the extensor carpi radialis brevis, which attaches there.